Where are you off to, Rusty? Hello, Smudge. You're not going into the woods, are you? Just for a look. You wouldn't get me in there. It's dangerous. Henry said he went into the woods once. That fat old tabby has never been into the woods. He's hardly been beyond his own garden since his trip to the vet. All he wants to do is eat and sleep. No, really. He got a rod in there. If he did, then it was before the vet. Now he complains about birds because they disturb his dozing. Well, anyway, Henry told me that there are all sorts of dangerous animals out there. Huge wildcats who eat live rabbits for breakfast and sharpen their claws on old bones. I'm only going for a look around. I won't stay long. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Hey there, kitty pet. You put up quite a fight for a tame kitty. And I'll fight you again if I have to. I'm Greypaw, by the way. I'm training to be a ThunderClan warrior. What's a kitty pet like you doing out in the woods? Don't you know it's dangerous? If you're the most dangerous thing the woods has to offer, then I think I can handle it. Oh, I am far from the most dangerous. If I were even half a warrior, I'd have given an intruder like you some real wounds to think about. Anyway, I didn't think it was worth hurting you. You're obviously not from one of the other clans. Other clans? You must have heard of the four warrior clans that hunt around here. I belong to Thunder Clan. The other clans are always trying to steal prey from our territory, especially Shadow Clan. They're so fierce, they would have ripped you to shreds. No questions asked. They come to take prey that is rightfully ours. It's the job of the Thunder Clan warriors to keep them out of our territory. When I've finished my training, I'll be so dangerous, I'll have the other clans shaking in their flea-bitten skins. They won't dare come near us again. So, you're not a warrior yet? Why? Did you think I was? I won't be a real warrior for ages. I have to go through training first. Kits have to be six moons old before they can even begin training. Tonight is my first night out as an apprentice. Why don't you find yourself a nice cozy house instead? Your life would be so much easier. There are plenty of household who'd take in a kitten like you. All you have to do is sit where they can see you and, well, look hungry for a couple of days. And they'd feed me pellets that look like rabbit droppings and soft slop? No way. I can't think of anything worse than being a kitty pet. They're nothing but two-legged toys. Eating stuff that doesn't look like food, making dirt in a box of gravel, sticking their noses outside only when the two legs allow them. That's no life. Out here it's wild, and it's free. We come and go as we please. Until you've tasted a fresh killed mouse, you haven't lived. Have you ever tasted mouse? No, not yet. I guess you'll never understand. You weren't born wild. It makes a big difference. You need to be born with warrior blood in your veins, or to feel the wind in your whiskers. Kitties born to two-leg nests could never feel the same way. That's not true! I nearly caught a mouse- I smell cats from my clan. You should go. They won't be pleased to find you hunting in our territory. But... I don't smell any- Quick! Get out of here! What's going on here? Star. You shouldn't be so near Two Leg Place, Scraper. I know, Lionheart. I'm sorry. Who is this? He's no threat. Not another clan warrior, just a two leg pet from beyond our territories. This is Blue Star. She's the leader of my clan. And Lionheart. He's my mentor, which means he's training me to be a warrior. Thank you for the introduction, Graypaw. You fight well for a two-leg pet. We've been watching you both. We wondered how you would deal with an intruder, Graypaw. You attacked him bravely. 
Straighten yourself out. You too, kitty pet. You reacted well to the attack, kitty pet. Grey Paw is stronger than you, but you used your wits to defend yourself. And you turned to face him when he chased you. I have never seen a kitty pet do that before. I have been wondering how you'd perform out here, beyond the two-leg place. We patrol this border frequently, so I've often seen you sitting on your boundary, staring out into the forest. And now, at last, you have dared to place your paws here. You do seem to have a natural hunting ability. And sharp eyes. You would have caught that mouse if you had not hesitated so long. You... you really think so? Blue Star, this is a kitty pet. He should not be hunting in ThunderClan territory. Send him home to his two legs. Send me home? But I've only come for a mouse or two. I'm sure there's enough to go around. There is never enough to go around. If you didn't live such a soft, overfed life, you would know that. Well? I am no threat to your clan. You threaten our clan when you take our food. You have plenty of food in your two-leg nest already. You come here to only hunt for sport. But we hunt to survive. I hadn't thought of it that way before. I'm sorry. I won't hunt here again, I promise. You are an unusual kitty pet, Rusty. Is survival here really so hard? Our territory covers only part of the forest. We compete with other clans for what we have, and this year, late New Leaf means prey is scarce. Is your clan big? Big enough. Our territory can support us, but there is no prey left over. Are you all warriors, then? Some are warriors. Some are too young, or too old, or too busy caring for kits to hunt. And you all live and share prey together? Perhaps you should find out these things for yourself. Would you like to join ThunderClan? If you did, you would train with Greypaw to become a clan warrior. But kitty pets can't be warriors. They don't have warrior blood. Warrior blood. Too much of that has been spilled lately. Blue Star is only offering you training, young kit. There is no guarantee you will become a full warrior. It might prove too difficult for you. After all, you are used to a comfortable life. Why offer me the chance, then? I'm right to question your motives, young one. But the fact is, ThunderClan needs more warriors. Understand that Blue Star does not make this offer lightly. If you wish to train with us... We will have to take you into our clan. You must either live with us and respect our ways, or return to your two-leg place and never come back. You cannot live with a paw in each world. Are you wondering if it's worth giving up your comfortable kitty pet life? But do you realize the price you will pay for your warmth and food? The clan may not be able to offer you such easy food or warmth, in the season of leaf bear, nights in the forest can be cruel. But the rewards are great. You'll be trained in the ways of the wild. You'll learn what it is to be a real cat. Come, Blue Star, let's not waste any more time here. We must be ready to join the other patrol at Moon High. Tigerclaw will wonder what has become of us. Wait, can I think about your offer? Lionheart will be here tomorrow at Sun High. Give him your answer then. Hello, Rusty. You should have been out an hour ago. The baby sparrows were out stretching their wings. Did you catch any? Couldn't be bothered. I'd already eaten earlier at home. Anyway, why weren't you out earlier? 
Yesterday you were complaining about Henry sleeping his time away, and today you're not much better yourself. I was in the woods late last night. Oh yes, I forgot! How was it? Did you catch anything, or did anything catch you? I met some wild cats. What? How come they didn't shred you to pieces? They just warned me to leave their territory, but then... What? Th they asked me to join their clan. Why would they do that? I don't know. I, th I think they need extra paws in their clan. Sounds a bit odd to me. I wouldn't trust them if I were you. But I do trust them. And I've made up my mind. I'm going to join them. Please don't go, Rusty. I might never see you again. Don't worry. My housefolk will get another cat. You'll get on with him fine. You get along with everyone. But it won't be the same. That's just the point. If I stay around here, I'll never be the cat I want to be. I want it to be different. I want to feel the wind on my fur and the earth on my paws. I'm I I'm sorry, Smudge. I'll, I'll miss you, but I have to go. Fair enough. I can see I can't stop you. But at least let's spend one more morning together. You have a lot to learn. Even the tiniest clan kid knows when another cat is nearby. Can you tell if I'm alone? Blue Star and Grape aren't with you this time. That's right. But someone else is. This is Whitestorm, one of the Thunder Clan's senior warriors. Relax before your fear scent brings unwanted attention. We're only here to take you to our camp. Hello, young one. I've heard a lot about you. Come. We can speak more once we're in the camp. We are very close to our camp now. Use your nose. You must be able to smell it. I can smell cats. There will come a time, if you are accepted into the clan, when you will know each cat scent by name. Follow me. Just after sun high, when the day is hottest, is a time for sharing tongues. Sharing tongues? Clan cats always spend time grooming each other and sharing the news of the day. We call it sharing tongues. It's a custom that binds the members of the clan together. Here comes Blue Star. He came. Lionheart was convinced he would not. Well, what do you think of him? He kept up well on the return journey, despite his puny size. He certainly seems strong for a kitty pet. So it is agreed. Then I shall announce his arrival to the clan. Let all those cats old enough to catch their own prey join here beneath the high rock for a clan meeting. Thunderclan needs more warriors. Never before have we had so few apprentices in training. It has been decided that Thunderclan will take in an outsider to train as a warrior. I have found a cat who is willing to become an apprentice of Thunderclan. Which clan does he belong to? That's not the scent of any clan I know. Lucky to become an apprentice. 
Lionheart and Whitestorm have met this young cat, and they agree with me that we should train him with the other apprentices. <laughs> Look at his collar! He's a kitty pet! Once a kitty pet, always a kitty pet. That tabby is Longtail. He smells your fear. They all do. You must prove to him and the other cats that your fear won't hold you back. This clan needs wild-born warriors to defend it. Not another soft mouth to feed. The collar is the mark of the two legs. And that noisy jingling will make you a poor hunter at best. At worst, it'll bring the two legs into our territory. <laughs> Looking for that poor, lost kitty pet who fills the woods with his pitiful tingling. Do you back down from a challenge? The newcomer has lost his two-leg collar in a battle for his honor. StarClan has spoken its approval. This cat has been released from the hold of his two-leg owners and is free to join ThunderClan as an apprentice. You look like a brand of fire in the sunlight. You have fought well. From this day forward, until he has earned his warrior name, this apprentice will be called Firepaw in honor of his flame-colored coat. Firepaw. Firepaw. Hey, Firepaw. Good name, too. Where did Longtail creep off to? I think he was headed towards Spotted Leaf's den. She's our medicine cat. She heals and watches over the clan. Dark Stripe. Lucky your collar snapped when it did. Longtail is a young warrior, but I can't imagine him being beaten by a kitty pet. Small ear smells trouble. That's Ravenpaw. Why is he alone? Where's Tigerclaw? Who are Ravenpaw and Tigerclaw? Ravenpaw's an apprentice. Tigerclaw's his mentor. Ravenpaw went out with Tigerclaw and Redtail at sunrise on a mission against RiverClan. Lucky furball. Redtail? Blue Star's deputy. But why on earth has Ravenpaw come back alone? Ravenpaw? What has happened? Speak, Ravenpaw. Tail is dead! Just after sun high, when the day is hottest, is a time for sharing tongues. Sharing tongues? Clan cats always spend time grooming each other and sharing the news of the day. We call it sharing tongues. It's a custom that binds the members of the clan together. Here comes Blue Star. Oh my. <laughs>